I'm in the process of decking out my work desk with all kinds of walnut accessories. I decided to build a computer monitor stand with a shelf to raise the height of my monitor to eye level. I designed the stand in a contemporary style because I work in a pretty contemporary office. I really like the sharp, crisp angles and the flared bevels, and I'm planning to match the grain across the outer surfaces of the stand to get a waterfall kind of look. I actually got this lumber when I was buying my bandsaw off of Craigslist recently. The seller just wanted to get rid of it. So I'm building this stand for free, which is nice. I can start by milling the board with the jointer and planer, then finishing it up by ripping the board to width on my table saw. To get the waterfall look that I'm after, I cut the top of the stand from the center of the board and the sides from either end of that piece. The outer corners of the stand are mitered, so I carefully cut the ends to 45 degrees on the table saw, making sure to keep track of which sides of all three pieces are the outside. Then I can cut the legs of the stand to final length. To cut the flared bevels, I set my table saw to an arbitrary angle that I thought looked nice. In this case, it was about 15 degrees. There isn't really a designated front or back to this stand, so I'm beveling all of the outer edges. The shelf part of the stand will be joined to the legs with mortise and tenons. I used a spiral upcut bit on my router table to cut the mortises first. Using tape on the fence to mark the outer edges of the bit helps start and stop the mortises at the right place when the bit is buried in the workpiece. The safe way to complete this cut is to hold the workpiece in place while turning off the router with your other hand, assuming there's an easy press switch nearby. With the top and the sides of the stand complete, I can start focusing on the shelf. This is a separate piece of walnut which I milled up off camera. After ripping the shelf to width, I can cross cut it to length, taking into account the length of the tenons. It's better to cut it too long here rather than too short, because the 45 degree mitered corners on the top and the sides of the stand won't fit together correctly if the shelf is too short. I cut the tenons carefully by eye with multiple passes on my crosscut sled, slowly raising the blade until they fit snugly within the mortises. After some light sanding to clean up the tenons a bit, I used a handsaw to trim the width of the tenons to match the length of the mortises. It's important to make this cut plumb, otherwise the shoulders of the shelf won't sit flush against the interior sides of the stand. To fix the square peg round hole problem, I can use a chisel to round off the tenons. I sanded the inside surfaces before glue up here because they'll become hard to reach later. The glue up involved a combination of strap clamp and some parallel clamps, and went surprisingly smoothly. Next, I can add some splines to the corners to strengthen them. Mitered corners are relatively weak, and I don't want the stand crumbling when I put a heavy computer monitor on it. To cut the grooves for the splines, I used a jig that rides along my fence. Now I didn't realize this till afterwards, but the jig is warped a bit since I last used it, and it doesn't ride smoothly along the fence anymore. So some of the splines ended up being longer than others, but that's how you can tell it's handmade, right? I 
I cut the splines themselves out of maple, using some calipers to get the width just right. Despite being careful, the splines were a little too thick so it took some light sanding to get them fitting correctly. You want them to fit relatively loosely because once you add glue, they tend to swell a bit. I trimmed the splines close to flush with my bandsaw, then sanded them the rest of the way down with 220 grit paper. I also used a sanding block to put a small chamfer on the bottoms of the legs, which helps prevent chip out when dragging the stand across the desk surface. Before applying a final finish, I wiped the piece down with mineral spirits, which helps hidden glue stains appear. It's much better to do this step now and find them when you can still sand them out, rather than seeing them after applying the final finish when it's too late. I had to move inside my house to apply the finish because the workshop is too cold for it to cure properly right now. I used semi-gloss armor seal, applying four coats over the course of two days, with light sanding using a thousand grit paper in between coats. I'm super happy with the result. Thanks for sticking around to watch me build this computer monitor shelf. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button below, and more importantly, hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks.